Hi there, and welcome to this video about upgrading from SharePoint and in model workflows to Power Automate flows. Just to set the context, let me remind you that with the SharePoint and in model workflows, you can only create solutions that target SharePoint data, so lists, libraries, or sites. And you can create sequentials, flowchart, or state machines. The designer that you use for such kind of workflows is Visual Studio prior to version 2022 because in Visual Studio 2022 those workflows are not supported anymore. The workflows are generally speaking based on the host side of the app in which you define your workflows and you can eventually define and configure your workflows as SharePoint integrated so that you will able to target the content of the SharePoint host side and not only the SharePoint app side. Moreover, a SharePoint AD model workflow relies on a custom workflow history list and task list and can have custom forms like for example the custom task forms, the initiation and the association form. With Power Automate Flow you are not tied anymore to SharePoint only and actually you can consume any workload of Microsoft 365 as well as any other external API as long as you have a proper connector or the capability to use an HTTP-based REST API. There are plenty of out-of-the-box ready-to-go templates that you can use, so you can definitely speed up the development process of your flows. And there is a designer which is web-based rather than based on Visual Studio. You can mainly create sequential flows, but if you have a good knowledge about Power Automate, you can do more than just sequential logic. And whenever you create a task and you assign a task to a target user, in Power Automate, the task will be a task of Microsoft Teams approvals or a task of Microsoft Planner tasks. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can transition from an old SharePoint AD model workflow to a modern Microsoft Power Automate flow. Imagine that you have a list of orders in a custom list of SharePoint Online or of Microsoft lists and you want to implement a workflow logic to handle the approval of the order. As such, using Power Automate instead of the old SharePoint and in model workflows, you can simply do something like that. When you are in the list, using the UI of SharePoint Online, you can click on Integrate, Power Automate, and you can click on Create a Flow. By clicking on this button, you will see a list of ready-to-go templates that you can start from. For example, you could choose the start approval when a new item is added, so that the approval flow will start automatically whenever there will be a new item added to the list. If you will select this option, you will be brought to Power Automate, and from here you will have to configure the template in order to connect it to the target environment and specifically right here in the lower part of the screen you can see that you have the connection to all of the services so you will use Microsoft 365 and uh, um, Exchange Online to send email messages, you will use SharePoint Online, you will use approvals and you will read the users uh, in Azure Active Directory and you will need to connect uh, all of the workloads that you need to use to the Power Automate flow providing a valid set of credentials to access those services by default uh, Power Automate works in the context of the user who defines uh, the flow. So right now I am this user and I am connected to those services. Now if you click uh, on the connect button you will see the auto-generated flow for you. So you don't have to do almost anything, you just uh, will find the flow generated for you where an item is created, this is called the trigger condition of the flow. And when an item is created in the target site collection in which you are, in the target list in which you were when you selected to create a flow, it will start an approval. You will have to specify the target approver of the flow. And then, based on the outcome of the approval task, you can say, OK, if the approval is uh, yes, OK, and you will see the response of the approval task is approved, then if it is approved, then you will send an email to let 
people know that the item, the order item has been approved. If it is not equal to approve, it was rejected, and so you will send an email message to notify that it was rejected. There is also a section right here when you can eventually uh, notify that the uh, approval action failed and if that is the case you will get some information from the uh, profile of the user, specifically the email of the current user and you will use it to notify the user about the issue. Now, in order to use this flow, you simply need to specify the target approver, which can be myself in this scenario and then you will be ready to play with it. Once you are ready, you save it and you can eventually already test it from this designer. As you can see right here, you can click on test or you can use it from the UI of SharePoint Online. But when you are in SharePoint Online, you can also click on Integrate Power Automate see your flows and you will be brought to the Power Automate interface where you can see the whole list of flows that you created, including the one we just created right now and which I slightly changed to set a field, which is the approval status field in the order accordingly to the output of the flow. So this is basically exactly the same flow that we have just seen before. When a new item is created, we create an approval request. The approval request will go in Microsoft Teams for approval. And uh, upon the condition result, I will not only send the email to the users to inform the outcome of the approval, but I will also update the item in SharePoint Online with the proper approval status. This update item, as well as any other action that you would like to add to your flow, can be simply added by clicking on Add an Action, and here you will find a huge list of actions that you can rely on to work with native workloads of Microsoft 365, as well as with third parties workloads, like for example, you could work with uh, DocuSign, you could work with uh, external services and systems and stuff like that. So, for example, if you want to do something with SharePoint, you can simply search for the SharePoint actions. You will filter by SharePoint and here you will see all of the actions that you can have at your hands whenever you want to work from within a Power Automate flow targeting SharePoint Online. The same happens if you want to use the email. So you can say that you want to work with Exchange Online or actually you want to work with the mail. Uh, so Outlook in Office 365 and you will have a bunch of action for that area and so on and so forth. So plenty of options. And once, once you define a flow and you have it ready, then you can simply play with it. And for example, let me create a new sample order right here. So it will be a sample order 03. The customer, just for the sake of making an example, will be customer 03. And the amount of this order will be 15,000 euros. The order now is pending approval. If I will create the item, now if I will go to Teams, I will find an approval request. So let me switch to Teams and let me show you that in my Teams context, I will find in the activity that I will have a request to approve the sample order 02 that was already there, but pretty soon we will also see another request popping up right here to approve the uh, order 03 that I just created. The UI of the approval task will simply look like this because it is based on Microsoft Teams approvals. Here you can see what the target item is, you can see who sent the request and stuff like that. You can write a comment, I like this order, and you will be able to approve or reject. Or you can even eventually reassign the task to someone else if you think that you are not the right person in target for it. Now, let me approve this one. And in the meantime, we might be able to see that we have the final approval status for the order that I just created, but I will also see pretty soon that I also have an approval request pending for the new order 03. If it is not triggered yet, in the uh, workflow engine of Power Automate, you can also see the history. So you can look into the history of the uh, flows that have been executed in the last 28 days. 
So if in the old school SharePoint uh, workflow model you had the history list, now you have this new history in Power Automate. You can eventually, from a Power Automate flow, save information in external services so that you can have a history longer than 28 days. So let me refresh. And now we see that we have a new instance that is running. If I go back to Teams, I can see that I have a new approval request for the order 03, and here I can process it and eventually reject it. So it is really, really intuitive, simple, and straightforward. You can just design using the web browser your flows, and they will be natively integrated with SharePoint Online and with your lists and libraries. Here you can find additional links if you want to dig more into the topics covered. And like always, thank you for watching this video.